Hey, we're going to do a, or try and do a video of this uh, Champion portable vice stand. And the one we got is the uh, the number 130 without a vice. Well, it was sold without a vice. The other three models in that size of stand had different size vices. So, the one on this stand is a uh, Parker number 4X. It's kind of hard to see. The 4 is beat up. In the opening, the opening of this vise would be nine and a half inches. The jaws closed, nine and a half inches. This is considered a five and a half inch vise. Five and a half inch wide jaws. It's manufactured by Western Tool and Manufacturing Springfield, Ohio. And it's got the uh, patent May 3rd, 1904 on it. This is a portable stand. It's got three wheels on it. Front wheel steers. And there's a mechanism to uh, apply the brakes to make the stand stationary, but I haven't got that cleaned up and figured out yet. This is the vice nut. I had the vice apart. This is the vice nut off of it. No markings on it. These are uh, countersunk fasteners to the yoke below. You can see the yoke. We're going to take the vise off of the stand knock next, so stand by. ready to take apart for making a video. Shouldn't be long. Oh, I don't think this is the right spindle. I think that's supposed to be a ball spindle. Of course, I had to clean up and grease the slide to be able to get it out of there. traffic jam on the street. We're working on the next street over so everybody's got to come down this street to get home from work.
Anyway, the reason I believe this is a... Let me get my device here. The reason why I believe this is a Model 130 without a vise, sold without a vise, is, is because this vise here, or the stand, only shows the holes from, uh, from this vise. And whoever put this vise on here, they drilled and tapped the holes. From what I understand, there's no nuts for the vise. So they drilled and tapped it in the yoke. So anyway, thanks for watching my video.